I will find them. What's going on, chat? How are we all doing? My way. I took away. I should have drop shot. It had not drop shot. I took drag on my shot. Did all it, all the, all in elbow pushing. Spike planted. This boy's gonna annoy me. You shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. And cheated. I got the wrong way. The yeah, hell? Huh? Uh, yeah, we didn't do. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Good, was good, was good, was good. Back at it again, chat. We are back at it again. Well doing. Do, 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 do. Near the chaos. Everyone says they go in. Feel well. Tomorrow we'll be over on Twitch, obviously. Just for a heads up chat. Probably Saturday and then. And maybe in the evening. Uh, Twitter under this one. To get through the... Full of gasoline. Oh, up on a pack. Yeah. Currently looking.
And the wall. Oh, what? They one shotted me? Are they just me? What? Ow. Uh. I don't get how you get one shot a day. Like you just get one shot by these guys, man. Lethal. There's gotta be like an easier way. Dude's a savage. See, it's impossible. You can't just nick it. Like, they expect to have a gun pipe with like 20 people. What is going on? Oh my word. Mad. Let me check. Boulder. This dude just went in him. What? 
Yeah, but back into sex, I got it. Bacha, I'm back. Let's get it. Let's get, 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 get it. Dude, sneak. Try this, it did. But, you know. Got one out. Got one. Oh. 
Oj. Doesn't make a lot of sense. That's one. And the other one's a guess. Go and find the other one. again that times
Damn, this feels like a long track. Holy Moses. Um, next week, chat, we'll probably have some early streams as well. Maybe double stream. Testing. Yep. I'm nailed by the horse. <laughs> hey. <laughs> gonna go, like, gonna help a guy. Bang. Keep on going. supposed to
I don't know. I believe I lost my horse. I should not have jumped off there. No, and the train was so close. Not good chat. No. I just didn't think that through at all, did I? Just got a new horse. Lost. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Quack? Killed your car. I know. I literally jumped off, looked at the train, and went, oh no. <laughs> I could literally see what was going to happen and I was just kind of like, this is not good. Uh, but at that point the train was a little too close to really do anything. How you been my dude, you good? You been, um, did you go, you went back to Disney didn't you? How'd it go? I've seen some of the pictures on the, the old Dissy. What did I say? Enemies were allowed. Yeah, it was good. You enjoyed it? You go like once a year now, or did you go more? What are they penalizing me for now? Next trip in like 40 days? Damn, you got caught often then, did you? Way too much money, Quacks. Way too much money. How you been over, dude? Good? Two to three times a year? You must enjoy it if you go back that much. John? The new oh, lady friend yeah. you? is into it a lot. I got you. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. How long you been See, there for, Quacks? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Two and a half? Months or years? What? Two and a half months. Years. But she's not new, eh, is she? <laughs> Good brother, how are you feeling? Two and a half years. I know now. You good. You good. Morning. Morning. Have you played this one? Fox. Hi Arthur. Come here a minute. Abigail. Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. I mean, three years you ago when you were streaming, I was married. Long time. Yeah, true. Oh, so it's not the same person as that because of the, oh, I got you. Because I got you. I'm your preferred nursemaid. Because he likes Oh yeah, I think I remember well, that situation. You know, you were his saying. father's useless. Glad you're in a better one now. Thank you. Long, long time ago. Too much money then, Quacks, as well. You were like tier one subbing, weren't you? Madman. How are you holding up? Not very well. <laughs> not I'm very sorry. well. You've been on talk of since, Quacks, or not? The streets of talk of masters don't know. I haven't been on that yet. I've been on the game, but I haven't been on the new map. Supposed to be rubber band and like mad. So I'll probably go on it eventually when it gets time soon. Don't want it blowing up the PC. But. Nobody wants that. How's work been going? You back or are you still off? Where are we supposed to go, chat? Black dot. You're back? When did you get back from Disney? Or you've been back a bit? I'm 
Mr. I got you, I got you. Facts of Bay can't wait to see me on Elden Ring getting smashed about like constant. Constantly. Ooh, Quacks, I'm gonna be streaming um a new Harry Potter as well if you're into that one. Because my, my birthday is on the 14th and it's out before it, so hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get it before. Pre-ordered it? Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? I'm, I was quite surprised. I didn't think I'd be like that, like, ooh. And I, the more I watched of it, more I liked it. Put my horse back. What you up to? Playing. Yeah, it looks really good. I like the full flying side of it they've put in as well. You are a and the, the sorting me. hat. Fishing? Sure. That's gonna be You're interesting to see where that guy from gets put. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. It looks good for no boat. I'll mount up and. Open world, isn't it? So as long as it's not buggy, like I think it'd be good. You can do the house test online. You can do that online, you know. <laughs> I can get it by myself. Don't know which one uh, I'm gonna be in. Be right back. Yeah, you're good, man. Let's go then, Uncle Arthur. I forget uh, the name much for kidding to talk, oh. well, your mama might disagree. There's a few of them. This way. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yeah, that rock star going to be behind now. When are we going back to the other camp? Because I swear it was supposed to be released water? last year. Yeah. They didn't mention anything. Spot. They don't give release date. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Go fishing, chat. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Well, first, we need some bait. Some cheese. Cheese? Cheese? The bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. 
you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Fish on the line. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. My arms are tired. Oh, we got a shot. Right. This should be in by now. Another boy to fish once. Smallest fish you'll ever see, chap. You mean Lenny? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. This was long before I met Lenny. Long before you was even born. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Don't really throw it back, do they? <laughs> Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. There we go. What the? What is that? This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Where are the big boys at? You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is. Boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Hmm. Born as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. See that cast, Jack? I think you've got a fight. Look. Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Uncle Arthur. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a mm. wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard the 
guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. Wow. <laughs> You Hello. enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Welcome to the day, Matrix. Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. Hmm. I'm pop them in the head. No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Come on now. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Wait to ruin the fishing trip, huh? Can we go now, please? We are, kid. You know. Come on, our kid. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. An awkward I conversation with a child. He is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Sweet home. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. I just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.
morning, Arthur. We're free. We are alive. And we Remember, are live free. from the needs. Jack, you are a sad. Look at those clothes. Ah, good. You're huh? moving those. I took inventory <laughs> on them sorry. just yesterday. I... It's okay, Ma. I ain't much of a mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll... I get some money. And stay out of the world. Oh, my God. We're doing chores already? Like, what is going on? Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. What? Oh, I... It's kind of oh, man. Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> When's that going to be ready, Pearson? Hi. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? Hmm. I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> the whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. No, it's hey, appreciate the like. Appreciate it. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. Pay for our what sins, a sad eh? World we live in. Oh, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just I'm realistic about what's coming. But I keep acting really crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. <laughs> ain't that the truth. Ain't that the truth. Talk to it. Hey, you. Now it has. Don't forget, chat, if you're not subbed to the channel yet. Free to do. Where we're looking. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Oh. Hey there, little man. Hmm. How you doing?
Guess we're going back on the road, chat. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine too. Well, yep. I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dutch. Oh, pardon me, domestic. We ain't got time for them domestics. He <laughs> plans the weekend chat. Everybody's plans. Look at what we his dog's body. I told you he's. One shot there. I literally just checked my health. It went all low. Come on. Come on now. Ah. It went all low, surely. Wow. I should have had my repeater out. That, um. All hand ones is like a lot, lot more shots. Jumper. I reckon it's gonna fade out by the time you get to top. Yeah, yeah, in the mall. Back off it. Stop waiting. That's a casual jumper. I feel like I said. By your old yes. love interest. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. You and your friends was around. I okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Oh, not sorry. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been <clears throat> you've been made a widow, and you come here looking for me. Is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. 
You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. <laughs> They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Guess for help, Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. We're too nice sometimes. We're too Arthur. nice. If you find him, bring him to me at You're the station. Too nice. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Oh, you will owe me. You already owe me. You owe me. Yeah. Hmm. Back going up the old Mary Linton. To the... The track, chat. Bit of a track. Fine and dandy. Yeah. I'll probably scrap it. You didn't want it. You didn't want it. A country and western going for you would be nice. Like. The Lucons. races. Sounds yeah. <laughs> like a uh, ghost of Hashima.
What a game that was. Yep. So glad we platinum. Prior to that one, I like that game. I do hope they make a new one. This sucks how hard they've made the plat on this. I was gonna go for it, but it's so like some of the miss trophies are ridiculous. There we go. Yep. Which is a shame. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. I will path show you true. your path you carry on. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Arthur. <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. Oh my God, I should have shot him already. What do for, do you think? I just chucked him off the cliff. searching for whoever stole your common sense you nutcase <laughs> are you always this negative and antagonistic sir you couldn't help it only when dealing with idiots now let me talk to the boy now move out of my way goddamn lunatic you think I'm playing here what do you think you are? <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Uh, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone! Oh, we got stuck on a rock.
Uh, well, I'm chasing it. Horse doesn't want to do it. I don't know what you want me to do. A horse said no. <laughs> A horse is like no. I was not in range to lasso, man. Maybe, alone, maybe at the start. to do it is off to the start the horse just not got in it the horse is not going right to text chat leave me alone arthur i didn't have
chapter two, I think there's four chapters. Do my name. I'm not supposed to catch this guy with a slow horse. Miles up. Horse keep the car. Buckaroo me. The chub starts to date in my business. Dubs the iron quacks in there. There's got to be a way to do this, like early, early. Let me have a look at this. Corona's Oh my god, like people on YouTube is Oh, I see chat. By the looks of it, we don't actually... Not bad playing some Warzone. We don't actually get to catch him. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Yep. Any dubs? Gotta be on some Warzone. Uh, Camel grind tomorrow on Warzone. Oh, street. Over on Twitch. Right in. Right in Saturday, Twitch.
awesome. Like, Chubsy boy and Dubs. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Read what I have to do. I like. Started reading it, then they said, "Squeeze it." I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just. This arm, man. Leave okay. me alone. See your sister. Okay. <laughs> well, that's job. Okay. Take the gun away from this boy, please. Okay, kid. Don't let him loose, chap. Don't let him loose. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I just want to hog tie him, you know? I don't know. Rope on him. Get... I don't know enough about it. Kick him over the fire. The one thing I do know there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. <laughs> That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, well apparently. Though. Really? You'd fall for that? I guess. They were very nice to me. They're Told decent. You. I'm sure. Hey, what? Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. Oh, father could oh, tell he said like a turd. You won't amount <laughs> to anything. You're not enough of a man. Guy. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Yeah. App 
apples, I guess. Apple. Apples. Yeah, I love apples. Maybe this guy should make fighter. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Your father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Hello, sir. Hey, how did you do We're going in then. We're going in. Come on. Thanks. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. Gosh. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. The thing there, chat. There I've, is a thing. You're. Oh, you'll never change. I know that. He wants me. Understandable. <laughs> They can't all have me, chat. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Mister? By the way, chap, bronze medals on it. Ow. Awesome. Mac banging. Get it. <coughs> Hello there. You got some kind of problem with me? Oh, you what know. are you doing it for? You know if I got a problem with it. You got a problem with me? Nope. The issue is. Don't walk out in a minute. And last you.
No, you didn't. The hell? Oh, you drawing on me? You want to see what I can do with a sh- ah! I'll kill you again in hell, my friend. Absolutely. I need to go on this thing, eh? Smash the three, and then... Talk all you want, lady. You won't make no difference. And then, like, a beef. It can. Bad. Any good MP7 loadouts for um, Buzzer? It's in the floor, Luke. One. You got more than Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. <laughs> and let me come on the raid with you. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. <laughs> it's on. Charles? I'm ready. <laughs> Nobody looks confident at all. Let's go earn some money. <laughs> no, I'm ready. Right. Yeah. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Ooh. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. Oh, well. Rail Ooh, the easy. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards in the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Whoa! He's up on them horses! See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. 
I love the little lines in this game. Towards roads. So, yes. You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's obsessing. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing oh, us. Rock. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the top, no, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yep. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. One or two ways, chat. Stop so it goes right first. I think I'll walk over on this thing. Hey! Faster! All you up, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. ready to get shot. Come on. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Pay me what you got, mister. You there you go. Get her. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem? Money, oh, value. Don't there. do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than that lady. I wish you my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be over. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage huh? car. You sure Which about are? that? Why are you wasting time? You show this son of a bitch we ain't quick. I'm just like putting a smack down. Everything you got. Money. Baggage. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. You hear me? For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Okay. Probably something in here, Arthur. Wait for the arm. 
Paul is bailing this guy out. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Schmidt, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Huh? There's a few more to turn it over. Hey, <sighs> my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. You see what they call you, the professionals in the outfit? Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course Good not, idea. boss. Good idea. <laughs> oh, that was a silver, though. Yeah. That was decent. Did that fairly quick. Back over, but... Burstons. Yep. In chat. But wake. That was a bit of a feisty old one. Pretty good. Good old gunfight. Idiot. Button. Bad. 
Out the way, you maniac. Recovery, recovery. and can't reload time I would like can't die there come on now I need a better gun it's just uh, I could use my money on the gun oh it cost me 14 Piece of junk. We're going back here. Hopefully that mugs are still there. How are we all doing chat? Welcome in, welcome in. Trickle in, trickle in. Hey. Is here now. The hell? Yeah. Kind of got off track, really. Uh, 
I'm gonna get ambushed again. Time. Tree there. Arthur, good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make nope. it up to you. A plan nope. like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Yep. Boy. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Tristan told you that. when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. Oh my god, the amount of, the amount of times I've run it. Back to what you were saying. Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's <laughs> too late. Like that move you pulled Great. with Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we going to rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're robbing it. Then let's do it.
They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. Here we go. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Uh, hey, look. Come on, boy! I don't think we're, we're done yet, though. Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, I've been enough money in this. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. He's controlling it. <laughs> I'm trying to steer it and then I'm realizing like uh, I'm not in control.
why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll? <sighs> huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will ya? Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Go on, then. <laughs> it was like, Come on, let's hell? see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I <laughs> said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. One ain't cool. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. John Morrison. Go down the, the town. Arrows.
appreciate you stepping in there. Bastard's been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protective money. I told him where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Oh, good, yeah. idea I've ever had. We're with you on that. Will you keep your hands off our property? Hey, stop that. Well, don't let me keep you. I see he owes me like trying to bail him out and he's been I took his brandy. What a guy. This saved your ass. Boy. Boy. Yep. Yes. Boy. You still gotta complete that as well, chat. That's on my list. Looks like I got my PlayStation Plus back. your name I never did you're like a brother but I didn't learn your name yep. and I said to myself Mickey oh my god that guy's still that talking what, like, now, still not talk. you'll never see him How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting that might work for dutch but for you it just makes you look stupid come along you'll see that train job was a start but we need more money until we can get back to blackwater and collect what are you waiting for Anyway, what was you talking about? I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we. Dutch says a lot. Dutch is a talker. Gift, saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But. But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Man, that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something.
pick it up. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse. What You're the hell? troublemaker. Tether the Jeez, horse, and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Hello. So, how are you? Nothing to complain about. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You wanna see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Customizing. We are customizing. That's pretty cool, chat. I like that. I'll take the lever off. Oh, no. I don't buy this stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> because... Maybe this is deep. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? 
Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always plans, goddamn. What the? Oh, I, I, so, back to what you were saying. So pushy. Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Nope. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. There we go. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> or ignore me and shoot right at them. Worked, didn't it? Yep. That spooked him, all right. All right, let's go round him up. Bad shot. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yep. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. 
All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine, uh, we did that pretty well. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Okay, boy. Hey. Drink. 15%. I thought we were doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Go. go on, get going. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromise. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with.
by the likes of you. Ooh. Get out of here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by Why not? Gonna get tasty. with this nonsense please gentlemen this is a terrible mistake this is a case of mistaken identity what is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the messiah not me nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever Shot me in the shoulder. Come on now. Nah. Come on now. Nah. Don't do me like that. Right.
think it'd be a. Oh, you're fine. I'm not fine. Let's get out of here. Get him on the horse and let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Alright. I better get out of here. I think we're good, Sean. Yeah. Little dice, I'm not gonna lie. I think we're picking out a dodge. We pulled a rab out of the hat somehow. This big boy. Okay. Alright, don't get all worked up. Okay. Ha! So, we 
keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Hmm. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? I was getting a bit fed up, chat. Getting a bit fed up. We should just go and rodeo our own little thing. Cabin. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. Up a We're packing up and moving on. Be good. Far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but... The way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just... Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well... Let's take a look around. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Not that sure. good. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Talking. You started it. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure.
Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Dark it. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Hello. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Bon. Careful. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkerton breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. Not how you are. Hey. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay. Come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? We know. When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. Hold up. Let me check this. Easy. Uh Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. So, back to what you were saying. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards just... told me. Killed Mac. Set it right in front of Jack. Ah. That kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, oh well, if it's John's idea. Be a good one. Easy. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on him. Like you were saying before, what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. 
when Jack was real young, a long while. Hear him. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Oh, I am still fresh. But... Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. <coughs> I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? You ain't coming up. What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. Oh, hell no. They're all them. Doesn't look like it. behind for us schneiden sie das seil durch bitte helfen sie mir it's okay Getting calm it down here. now calm down vielen dank für ihre hilfe yeah okay here you wait there a second charles go find dutch get the caravan to divert here this spot should work for us i agree Take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? The hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah.
Let's go, boy. Yep. What? Yeah, I need to start going up. This guy seems to be getting late every night. Gott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst so gewesen! Meine Reunion. Lieblinge! Meine Herz allerliebst! <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here, this place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Yeah. Wow. Check that out. Check that. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are. But we are going to make the best of it. Chapter three, we get there. Days later. Pastures. Ooh, got to open. Got to check. Sadie. Good morning, Arthur. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Okay. Old Hosea says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Here. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting. Come on, 
Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Passing you. Go on. Fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. We don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. <laughs> I'm promising anything. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How oh are you, boys? Fine. Right. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Shit. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make them. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You fellas couldn't arrest a blind woman. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Hurry. Get alongside it. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Closer! Get us alongside it! 
Now he's throwing bottles. The low down bastard. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Arrest me now. Get the head off. Find the light down. <laughs> oh that they fell off. No. no. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. Come on, shit back. I think he's dead. I think it's that one I need. Oh, it's like full health. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Hey, what are you playing at? Go now, please. Oh, 
Okay, boy. What are you doing? I moved the horse. Go to rest. Come on, I assume you're not walking them in. There you go. You go are patient. a natural. All right, let's take them in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Yeah, no, good oh, good. They're right back. Quick. And that's your Let's friend, see, right? right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff... Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... And Arthur, that's Jose, you start <laughs> poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard the money bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for Is 13 this how years. It'll take Great months point? to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. We're on chapter three now. <laughs> it's only four. Okay, so these two plantation families 
Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? So you coming or not? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Yep. Hold us! of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Hello there. Oh, uh, idiot! Call it in, Arthur. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he mm. is. Unless there's a new Easy. breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said when we set off, just start turning the soil. Low profile. Watch it. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn! This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh! Yes, over there on the shore. Yeah! Easy. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Let's sack with boat fishing. So rotten up. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. This 
supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big, like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite. You got something biting, Arthur. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. That feels like a bite. There we go. Shit. Got away. There. Hooked him. Got one dub tonight. Yeah, buddy. Like to see. The middle of fishing. Something's nibbling. Yeah, Got one. Damn it, I lost him. Oh, good effort. I think she got a dub. Yeah, it's be the last one. We're on chapter three now. I think it's four chapters. So. Not even halfway through the game. So there's gonna be loads of little missions and. Yeah, man. Fish, man. From miles out. I got a bite. Ha! Got gotcha. Dubs better than no dubs. Where my doesn't do anything.
feeling it real. Oh. He got away. Lost it. <laughs> he got the better of you, I'm afraid. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. Hey, hey. look at this beauty. We'll whip a there snap. you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Hosea, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fella. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw on the floor and I knocked off some. I'm gonna whisk you over on them. I wish to God I'd passed her by. 
I wish to God I passed her by. Tater got burned, and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, there is a bully boy come pledge me on this round around around around. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know. We should not let the folks back again think that we have too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we, Gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Had that by the last place, so didn't he? I'm going to take in with you. I'll give these fish the to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your Arthur. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Right, um, just, a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> Oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Oh, say whatever you do, well, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll... What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work? So he did. Bang, bang, bang! My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <laughs> He's feisty, I like Come it. with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are going to take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? You coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. I chat, we're gonna drive over there and yeah. then. You cool down then, yeah? I Man. guess. I 
we got no quite a bit today. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweaty half-wit. I guess we Being all got to do our three. share, princess. Oh, oh, well. Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Um, oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading is where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. the pound real quick. That I dodge. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Uh. Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hey, you want me to drive? Yeah, you I the too shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. That's just the way Done. than you. Hell, my sister's newborn had more strength than you and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Come on, Sadie. Well. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. The cinematic. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, 
I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. <laughs> hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! Get back here! What the hell was that? You've caused enough <laughs> trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. Yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wide, oh, she making no it. small name for myself. You did a I good job. I giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. Yeah. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Ew. Arthur. Abigail. Hi, Pearson. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. All right, then.
And that's it chat, just like that. We are on chapter three. A new base. Uh Appreciate you all sticking about. If you don't like the stream already, make sure you drop a like. If you're not subbed, make sure you hit the sub button. Uh, we will be go on Twitch. So, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to play in yet. Either this, I give a run on Twitch, and on Twitch or. or uh, if I'm energetic, I will probably go on card to grind some more camos and Warzone. So, yeah, hope to see you there. Appreciate you all. Have a good rest of your evening, wherever you may be in the world. Dubs, Quacks, appreciate you dropping in. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy from me, Elite Poo. Out.